I was wondering what I should speak on today. And a thought crossed my mind about how we all get caged with the judgments of the people. People who are around us. And the absurd norms of the hypercritical society. I'm a lawyer by profession, but by hobbies and, and passion, I'm, I'm a creative person. I've been doing multiple things. You know, I have a music studio where I do music, play musical instruments, arrange and mix music. I do renditions and, and voiceovers. And I engage in blogging and video talks, lectures and, and discourses. In short, I share my skills publicly. I remember when I, you know, formally started engaging in these hobbies and, and, and started posting my creative stuff on social media. Many people in, uh, in society became critical that it will impact my image as a lawyer. That was so lame and ludicrous. But that is what our society is made of. People will, will be always judgmental about, about, about what you do, what you are, what you wear, how you talk, how you conduct yourself. They will not let you breathe. They will, they will chain you with their disparaging opinions. Never get let down and influenced by those very people who try to pull you back or pull you down. They are the ones who are cut out like, you know, I would say robotic equipment in, in, a, in a living body. They follow up script. You should never be pretentious, I, I feel. You, you, you have natural traits and interests and creative skills. Everyone has them. It is just that most of us put a lid on them. Uh, due to societal pressures and, 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 and their judgments. Be truthful and honest to your own self. First, you are answerable to your inner self. Believe it. Create hobbies and, and passions uh, for that matter. You know, create any diversion or interest or activity which gives you enthusiasm. Because that is the oxygen of your mind and soul. I may be sounding like a wisdom or spiritual guru, which I am not. I, I, I'm just speaking out of my experience. I'm just sharing something from my experience. I have promised so many students, interns, associates and friends that I will be sharing, you know, the bits and pieces of my experience of last three decades in different forms. It is better to learn things from the experience of others at the cost of the experience of others than you know, going through that same rut again. Whenever it is possible, try learning from the experience of others. You don't have to go through the same uh, merry-go-round yourself. Be who you are. Never pretend who you are not. That is the first major step towards success and enhancement of your self-esteem and confidence. Once you have overcome that challenge and mental block, believe me, more than half of your aspirations will get shaping up in the direction of your success story. Remember that when you pretend you're like an ostrich, you're burying your real face and head beneath the sand. You're walking away from reality. That's what you're doing. If you, when you're pretending, you're not being your own individual self. I'm here reminded of a beautiful quote by uh, Mokokoma Mokwana, a South African philosopher and a social critic. He says, Plants are more courageous than almost all human beings put together. An orange tree would rather die than produce lemons. Whereas instead of dying, the average person would rather be someone they are not. 
beautiful you know let me repeat again because in, in just few lines he has described how fake we humans are he says plants are more courageous than almost all human beings an orange tree would rather die than produce lemons whereas instead of dying the the average person would rather be someone they are not so friends i will end my talk here and leave you to ponder and introspect who you really are please explore that so thank you for today and see you again with an in topic of your interest thank you